All right, doing a quick review of the uh, Harbor Freight toolbox for trailer tongs. Uh, I think it's two and three quarter cubic feet of storage space or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, we'll look at it uh, again just real quick. All right, here we go. All right, here it is. Already mounted on my load trail. See the hinges. It's got a pretty good latch. There's uh comes with keys so you can lock it up. With the handles, got a gas strut that opens it up. It is sealed up here. I don't know how well that works uh driving in the wet, but uh it does have a seal in it. Got some other harbor freight goodies in there. I got that little doodad. But um this thing has a ton of room it's, if you're using it for what it's meant for, which is, you know, tie downs and wheel chocks and things of that nature. Lubricant, towels, gloves. I got a, a couple other things in there as well. See the other side, little cheap aluminum rivets holding the lid on. It's got a pretty good latching system on it. Steel is, I was actually surprised. It's fairly heavy gauge steel. It's the box itself is actually pretty heavy. It's probably, I don't know, 50 or 60 pounds. Taking a guess at it. Get the information up there. Telling you to wear goggles and stuff for some unknown reason. I don't know about that, but anyway, uh, down here's how I mounted it on the corners. Drilled through the trailer tongue material. Dropped the bolt through there, tightened it up. I used uh, lock nuts on it so they won't vibrate out. Same thing over here. One here, one back here as well. And I guess that's about it. Um, would I suggest it? Yeah, I think I paid the $159 for it. So it wasn't the cheapest one out there. There were some cheaper ones on Amazon. Um, I don't know. I'm happy with it. It works good. It's heavy duty. It feels like it'll hold up for a while. And it might actually add some rigidity to the uh, A-frame a little bit too. Because like I said, it is some pretty heavy gauge steel. So if you've been looking at one of these Harbor Freight tongue boxes, uh, go for it. You'll, you'll be happy with it. It's not too big. It's definitely not too small. Um, it doesn't break the budget. It's not too bad on expense and uh, it ticks all the boxes so go grab you one if you've been looking at it and waiting for some confirmation anyway that's the end of this short review and we'll see you on the next one